All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. I got seven questions to answer today, so let's get started with Hershey Animations. And he says, ASA, comparing the DCEU to the MCU right now, is the DC Universe doing better? And then he lists a whole bunch of movies like the Snyder Cut. I don't know if I should say this word because he blurred it out, so it might be a hint for me. Uh, so the Blank Squad, the Batman, Peacemaker, uh, doing better than the MCU's. I guess that's what that word is. Current offering Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, WandaVision, Moon Knight, blah, blah, blah. I would say no, though I have recently been enjoying a lot more DC content like the Batman, for an example. I still think Marvel is doing a lot better crushing it like with content and whatnot. So I just, I'm a big sucker for the MCU. I, I absolutely love like the Disney Plus series and uh, the movies. So I still am going to support the MCU. I think the MCU is doing better. Next question is from the Zavrak Bricks and he says, who's your favorite Jedi, Sith? and Bounty Hunter. So my favorite Jedi is hands down Obi-Wan Kenobi. Favorite Sith is Maul, although I don't know if Darth Maul counts because like after episode one, he's technically not a Sith anymore, right? He's just a dark side user. Darth Maul lives. Formerly Darth, now just Maul. But I'm still going to count him. And my favorite bounty hunter, hands down, is definitely going to be Boba Fett. I absolutely love Boba Fett. I still think Boba Fett's cool. So I just love Boba Fett. And so, yeah. I think I made all that up on the day, too. All that like a panther. That wasn't even in the script. I just thought, hey. You fellas ride the motorbike, okay, like a Bantha. Next question is from Just Build It, and he says, do you think Lego Con will be cringe this year? Oh man, honestly, I have no idea what to think. So I hope not, because, you know, it would be cool if Lego Con was something that we could, like, as a community, look forward to every year. Like, oh man, they're going to release new sets, or, or I should say reveal, talk about cool plans for the future, you know, stuff like this, kind of like Minecon or Minecraft Live or whatever it's called. But unfortunately, last year was kind of bad so this year might be hopefully they learn from their mistakes hopefully it's a little less uh for children however you know it's going to be for all ages but that mostly means that they're going to target like kids so they're going to do things that we as adults would consider cringy or bad or ridiculous or stupid but a kid will just laugh at it or think that's cool so it's probably going to be somewhat cringy but hopefully not as cringy as last year if i had to guess it won't be as bad so i guess we'll see next question is from emperor pearl Bating. And he says, ASA, did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No, I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Next question is from Mr. Blue, and he says, ASA, what is your favorite Lego theme? Potato, potato, thank you for the potatoes. Not a lot of people are commenting potatoes anymore in their questions, which is making me kind of upset. So thank you, Mr. Blue, for being epic and commenting some potatoes. Anyways, to answer your question, Lego Star Wars is my favorite theme. I pretty much only ever talk about Lego Star Wars. I only buy Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars is what I breathe. It's in my blood, and I'm obsessed with it, and I'm poor because of it. Next question is from... E.K. Starler and he says, do you think it's cool that the president of Marvel, Kevin Feige, is working on a Star Wars movie? Of course I do. I think that's actually really cool because, well, for starters, a Star Wars movie, it's been a long time now since we've had a Star Wars movie. One that's good, I should say. I think Solo was the last good Star Wars movie, at least in my opinion. It's not fair! I think that's cool that we're, you know, just getting another Star Wars movie in the works, but then the fact that it's Kevin Feige, you know, Kevin Feige, he's brought the MCU to life in so many different ways and just has done such a fantastic job over the last like what like 12 years so Kevin Feige just absolutely amazing and so the fact that he's working on a Star Wars movie I hope it's good I I'm excited about that I think it sounds really cool so yes and our last question is from EK Starlord as well and he says do you support the restore the Snyder verse campaign for DC Comics to be honest I don't even really know what this means but if I had to guess it means like do I support like that the Snyder version of like Justice League and crap and honestly no because I don't really care I didn't think that the Snyder Cut version of uh, Justice League was any better it was just really dragged out and kind of boring and still kind of bad just a little less bad but still kind of bad you know I didn't care for the the movie so I'm just gonna say I don't know but that's gonna do it for today's episode of ASA leave a like if you enjoyed it helps out the channel make sure you comment a question or two for the next episode I will pin my favorite to the top which means you get to go first but until next time have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time Goodbye!